we do is, you know, we sit around and we talk sometimes. Sometimes we get started late. Sometimes when they come home late, it's because we've been talking. Sometimes it's because we, you know, I may call one of these guys to lead us in a prayer at the end of the workout because we pray every workout. <coughs> and, and sometimes they don't know what to say, so they sit there and they sit there until they find the words. And sometimes to them, the words probably weren't good, but God knows what's in their heart. And God knows that these guys are good people. And that's one of the things that, you know, it reminds me of what these guys are. There's a, you know, verse in the Bible about God providing you wings to soar like an eagle. Okay. Do you guys know why the, the eagle? Because eagles don't fly into the storm. They fly above it. And what I hope to get these guys to understand through pushing themselves physically is that nothing that comes to them, as long as they put God in their life, they'll be able to soar over those dark times. That, you know, there may be some turbulence, there may be some struggles, but they're always going to be able to fly over them. They're never in the storm. And that's one of the things that's really important for me is to get these guys to understand that there's more out there that we can rely on spiritually, physically, we have to develop ourselves, but spiritually too. And one of the things I want you to know is I'm hard on these guys. I'm not easy. And I have a reason for that. Because I expect the best of these guys. I expect the level of dedication that I give myself. Okay? These guys, I expect that they act outside this group like you guys would expect them to. Because if they are out there acting up and somebody knows they're part of this group, it affects my reputation, and that's how I make a living for my family. So that's what I put on them, guys. That's what I put on these guys. I expect the best out of them. I expect the most out of them. And there is no quit. We don't quit. We'll never quit. It doesn't matter if it takes us 100 times to do something or 200 times. And like I tell them, and I told them, and I don't know the last time I said this to them, but I'll tell you now. If you don't believe in yourself, I'll believe in you until you believe in yourself. I won't let you fail. You guys, we're not my story. You guys helped me. You pushed me. You guys are all a lot younger than I am. I may look younger. <laughs> but, you know, I'm pushing 56 this year. And these guys keep me working at a level that most people my age aren't working. I thought about competing myself <clears throat> because these guys got have me at a point to where I can compete at a level I can win at my age against, against competitors. For those that don't know, I need both knees or best. So just today walking around here, it was hurting. It was obviously pain. But next Saturday, I'm going to be in here, racking my knees up, and doing what these guys do. Because that's what they get me to do. I have goals myself that these guys are helping me to achieve. So I can't expect them to help me achieve my goals if I'm not pushing them to help push and achieve their goals. And so there is much an important part of my life is hopefully I am in this program is to theirs. And for those guys that are newer to this program, and you don't know this is how I feel about this program, now you do. So, I thought you guys did great today, and I want to say thanks to the parents for coming out and supporting these guys today and seeing the work that they put into it. And we've got food that's being cooked. But before I do that, is there somebody that would like to bless the food before we eat it? I want you to. All right. Bye, guys. Right, everyone, please bye. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day you've blessed us with, this nice weather, for all of us to come in here and you give us the strength to do what we just did. I just thank you for everything you've done in our life and the food you've prepared for us. You've blessed us in dramatically different ways, Lord. I'm glad I'm here with this family I got, and I just pray for all the people who need you and want to find you in your name. We pray.
Oh my God! Smell and start from the 